Friends Podcast. Hi, I'm Diane Hunt. I'm an impressionist realist painter connecting with nature through my brush. I work in oil paint and watercolor and I live in the countryside of Maryland's eastern shore, not far from the Chesapeake Bay. You can find me online at dianehuntstudio.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Hunt Studio. Hi, I'm Constance Brosson of Steve Brosson's Jewelry Designs. I live in Oklahoma on a prairie and I make uh, handmade jewelry in silver, copper, and brass. I'm an artist that paints. I paint pastels and in oil sometimes. Hello, this is Clyde JKL. I'm the host of this podcast. I am a emerging representational artist. I do historic rend- renderings, seascapes, landscapes, botanicals, birds, and whatnot. The tight illustrative hand in watercolor, tin and ink, and acrylic paints. And I live in Oklahoma City. Hello and welcome to the Artist Friends Podcast. My name is Clyde J. Gale and this is episode 100. It is a special episode because we are having our opening night for our Artist Friends Podcast Online Art Exhibition. And for our listeners, the audio listeners, if you go to www.artpopupshows.com, P-O-P-U-P-S-H-O-W-S dot com. that take you right to the uh, online exhibition. And I didn't do anything fancy. It's actually on my internet radio station page. Uh, very, very uh, usable for the phone. I know a lot of our listeners probably only listen to the phone. At the same time, we are having a video and an audio version. And I'm here with my two best artist friends. Diane Hunt and Constance. Bronson, hello, Diane. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Constance. Hello, everybody. Hello, Constance. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Diane. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Welcome to everybody. And we're going to start off, get, get this show running. We're going to start off with looking at and talking about Diane Hunt's art. Diane, you want to describe for our audio listeners that uh, big piece of artwork that's uh, right behind you there. Um, this piece is uh, of the ocean. Um, it's uh, on the beach and, and waves breaking and um, it kind of formed a heart shape. And so that's, I named it Heartbeat. But um, the ocean really for me is uh, a big part of, it has been a big part of my life. Um, you know, we I grew up um, our family had a beach house, and I spent a lot of time at the at the beach, you know, on the sand, in the water, <laughs> on the water, around the water. So um, I, I do paint a lot of water scenes, and uh, this particular one was from a visit that I had up to New Jersey, a beach that I used to go to up there. And uh, yeah, so. here you I couldn't hear you. Here. Okay, try that again. <laughs> there we go. Are you hearing? Can... Okay. It's a, for our listeners, audio listeners, it's a wave uh, coming into the shore. And what's the size of this piece? Uh, 
Diane. Um, it's 24 by 30 inches. And is 24 it, inches high and 30 inches wide. Is it available for sale? Yes, it is. It's in my shop <laughs> if, on my website. If you folks go to, again, www.artopupshows.com, you see uh, a very good, uh, very clear image of the piece with uh, price information and a link to her website. Diane, do you have something else to show us? Uh, I have another ocean painting here, similar it's on the beach as well. It's a little bit smaller painting. It's uh, 16, high, 16 inches high by 20 inches wide. And it's also from that same beach, but it's a different part of the different time of the day. And the waves are coming in and um, breaking on the shore and the wind was blowing a little bit more during this one. So the waves were getting pushed sideways a little bit. And um, What's the title of this piece? This one's Rumblings. Rumblings. I like that title. <laughs> it's a pretty. And it, for our list, audio listeners, it, it looks rumbling. It looks like a very <laughs> uh, windy day. I love beach scenes. <laughs> So, so, Diane, what kind of artist uh, are you? I'm, uh, I would, I call myself an impressionistic realist painter because I don't paint um, super realism. And I put a lot of my, more of my feelings and impressions of a place into my painting. So it's not um, super realism, but um, a lot of people say they look like photographs when they see them, when I post them online. But when you look up at them close, they're, it's kind of chaotic and <laughs> um, more impressionistic, so. Okay. Constance, it's your turn. Okay. Well, That's I... What you got to show us. Huh? What you, what you got to show us? All right. This first one is a six by six, six painting of tomatoes and it's oils. And it's called Sliced Tomatoes. Makes me hungry every time I see it. <laughs> it's a, a, from a tomato that I grew in my garden. And um, they look nice and juicy. They were sitting on a plate. I just sliced it up and they look ready to eat. <laughs> uh, it's an old painting. So it's a little six by six. All right. And I did it for a Strata challenge in last September. So what kind of artist would you call yourself? Um, well, I've painted different styles my whole life. Uh, this is a still life. I've been doing still life lately because it's so hot here in Oklahoma. And I like to do, I'd like to do landscapes too, but when the wet, I'm a fair, fair weather landscape painter. <laughs> so I come back to the studio and work when it's nasty outside. Um, but I like to do, I like impressionism, but I also like to do, when I guess when I'm in the studio, I like to paint sort of, um, uh, um, almost realistically. But, um, the next one here is a eight, 10 by eight. And, um, it's, uh, from a jar of pickles that I canned. I always did the, the Strata easel challenge last September. And I sort of was running out of things to paint. <laughs> so, so I attacked the kitchen looking for things to do in the still life because it was still hot in September and I wouldn't want to go outside and paint. Uh, yeah, it's, that's really it's an eight by 10. It's oil on panel. Definitely yeah, realistic. <laughs> yeah. I would say so, you're a, a good, you know, realistic artist. Yeah, it's a, a jar of pickles that I made from the year before. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> All right. I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. This is a uh, canvas panel. Let me see if I can hold it up so I don't get the glare on it. Uh, it is uh, 14 inches tall by 11 inches wide. It is what I call the title of his magical force. And I, it's a reinvented painting. About two years ago, it was done in acrylic. And my skills have improved substantially since then. So I uh, took 
and re embellished it with uh, oils on top you know, of the like, enhanced and added to it. The when you look up close, I've got I've even added I got some birds in there. You can hardly see them, and I got I think I got a squirrel and I got some butterflies, and then just uh, a little more. Uh, it's I would say it's more impo uh, impressionistic, but uh, a little more embellished than than the, than the original painting. And of course, I did it with you guys. For our audio listeners, that was a tree, a forest scene with uh, a large tree that looks almost horror-like with the branches and the, and the sunlight and the green leaves and then the light coming down the side of the tree coming through the forest. Okay. I went and asked you guys, but I didn't do it for myself. <laughs> okay. And this next piece is what I call Hope 2020. It is a American flag with holes in it, a cardinal, red cardinal bird, and an eagle. Trees. And during the uh, you know, 2020 COVID, you know, things were really looking bad. I and mean, everybody was getting depressed or whatever. And I recalled, I grew up in Indiana, and the, the cardinals, the red cardinals, are our state bird. And the reason why, because there's an Indian le legend that says if a cardinal uh, lands in your yard, then that that's bringing a spirit of hope and a spirit of of, uh, you know, of of gladness that it they are considered to be messengers of God. So I did see an image of the uh, cardinals and eagles in trees. That the eagles have, uh, for the longest time, they were extinct in Indiana, but they have come back. They are now available in, in uh, the state of Indiana. And um, outside of, of course, cardinals are all over the United States. And outside of my window here in my apartment, a cardinal had landed on the ledge. And it was actually on a day when I was really kind of depressed with the, you know, the COVID crisis. And so this is my COVID painting. Instead of having people with mask on, I, that's why I call it the, uh, the uh, in hope for, uh, for 2020. This is a um, uh, 20 inches tall, 16 inches wide, acrylic on, uh, on stretched uh, canvas. And I was waiting for Diana Constance to ask me, but I guess I have to do it myself. <laughs> I, I call myself more or less a, I'm an emerging artist. And what I mean by that, I'm not quite established. You won't find me in galleries and lots of galleries and uh, museums. So under that definition, I am still emerging. And uh, I consider myself a, uh, of an impressionist uh, painter with a, uh, more with, with a, a tight illustrator, of course, and I work in uh, oils and acrylics and watercolors and uh, and, uh, and il illustrate. All right. You two got any questions for me? <laughs> no, I need to add, I didn't add, but I need to add that I, my paintings are for sale at dailypaintworks.com. Great. I forgot to add that earlier. It's like, I forgot to. We're supposed to be salesmen too, you know. We always forget. Yeah, them. I had the deer in the headlight thing going. <laughs> I mean, they're they're available for sale, and if you you can get uh, information from www. dot pop up art pop up shows. dot com. That's art pop up shows. dot com. You can see all these works that uh, we have described in detail and links to our websites. Or uh, purchasing, if you folks would be interested in uh, purchasing this art, if you would be extremely grateful. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll wrap this up because I really didn't want uh, this particular episode, episode 100, because this is going to be our opening. And I don't know if uh, folks would uh, stay on the site uh, to watch our normal 
30 minute, 40 minute <laughs> discussions. So this is a, uh, this is a short one and it will be available uh, on that site for, uh, viewing it's also on youtube and then we will distribute the audio version of the of the podcast like i always do so i want to say thank you so very much to diane and constance for joining me for this opening and you folks uh our longtime listeners you'll get a chance to look at the video you see what we look like don't be scared <laughs> <laughs> well i hope we don't scare anybody away <laughs> yeah, we've been hiding behind the logo all this time. <laughs> <laughs> we we meet every week and uh, every Monday. I usually post a notification and I usually try to select uh, uh, videos for our discussion topics. And it's open to anyone. If you are an artist uh, wanting to uh, maybe work on your career and improve and meet other artists, if you are a art collector, if you are an art enthusiast, just interested, please, you can join us and you don't have to participate in the podcast. We usually uh, meet for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, depends on, you know, how <laughs> we get going. We talk about 30 minutes before we start the recording. We do the recording and then we end up talking another 30, 40 minutes afterwards. <laughs> so there'll be plenty of time if you don't want to participate in the actual podcast recording. What's nice with Zoom, I can just mute and you can sit there and make faces at us and crack us up. <laughs> and if you want to contribute, most certainly we'll be glad to uh, publicize your website and your artwork. And um, it's always an open door, an open invitation. So you don't even have to tell me, let me know in advance. Um, I, uh, of course, Zoom has their uh, security features. So I will add you, and if it's not what I think it is, I can also get rid of you too. <laughs> it has some problems with some of these people that want to uh, ruin it for everybody else. So with that, th you've been listening to and watching episode 100 of the Artist Friends podcast for June the 7th, 2021, our first video podcast. I don't know how many more we'll do in video. But uh, I decided since we let's have a, a, a gallery exhibition at the same time, so make it a make it a special thing. Since we reached 100 episodes, I'm going to say good night to Diane and Constance. Good night, Clyde. Good night, Constance. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming. Good night, Clyde. Good night, Diane. Thanks for listening, y'all. Come back again. Yes. Folks, thank you for taking the time to uh, look at our artwork and our, for our opening night and for our audio listeners, however you find these podcasts, please give us a rating, a thumbs up, star rating. We really appreciate it. Bye-bye until next time. The Artist Friends Podcast is produced and edited by Clyde J. Kale. Participating artists, Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson and Clyde J. Kale. You can find more information about Diane Hunt at www.dianehuntstudio.com. Constance Bronson at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash c b r o s n a n s clyde j kale at www.cjkaleartworks.com if you would like to participate or appear as a guest on the artist friends podcast please email cjkale at sign mystery dash otr.com if you enjoy these podcasts, please give us a thumbs up or a star rating. And most of all, send us your comments. This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons license.